what is the potential for healing the nervous system or nervous nerve, any kind of a complication if you can sit in the synapse? Phenomenal. What we did yesterday afternoon, what we did in the morning was very complex, very healing. I mean, it, I have totally almost regenerate, regenerated a large portion of my nervous system. And uh, the embryology is not like, it takes a while to take it in. But what we did yesterday, you just laid down most of the afternoon and somebody helped you find your fluid. Uh, as, as a major process by regenerating my nervous system. And this is another one. Now, I would like you to sit in the synapse for what I'm going to say now. <laughs> it is not to figure out. My question many years ago continues to be, but what happens when more information comes in than we can process? That was just a self-question. And looking at the nervous system, one of the things I found in myself and with others was what, remember to keep just feeling the information coming in the back and out the front. That's your job right now. Not to do what I say. Okay? You're going to listen to what I say, but just keep coming in the front, on the back, and out the front. Is that clear? But that's not sitting in the synapse because it's coming out. Well, the that's the cycle of it. It's coming, just let it keep coming in and then let it go. Okay, thank you. That's let the cycle be. It comes in, goes where it wants to go, but that you're going to go out the front if you're going to go anywhere. Thank you for clarifying that. What I feel happens when more information comes in than we can process in order to save our lives so we don't die of shock, of too much nervous system, I don't mean die of shock, but in order to deal with something that comes in that we can't handle, we refuse the information into the posterior horn and we say, go back, I can't process this now, I need more time. And so it goes back into the tissues and says, tissues hold this pattern until it can be processed. And little by little, when we sit in the synapse, we can take little by little that information in and process it, either into a motor act, into an emotional uh, understanding or expression, or uh, intellectual uh, awareness, that our heart, we will see next week, can absorb it. And. Uh, uh, this, this theory or this experiential theory um, came about 30 years ago and, and maybe 20, 20 years ago or something, I don't remember, I, I'm not a good counter. Uh, somebody found in the literature, I think it was around 86, that there was some support that there could be a reversal in the posterior nerve pathway. And um, rather the scientists have found it or not, I think it was a sheep or something, that it's really important to not force information in that you can't receive. To accept all the things in our history that we have not been able to absorb and to little by little allow information in that we don't have to do anything about except to accept and to sit with it and to choose the easy path because as information comes in that caused great tension or great whatever if we get into the membrane we can re-experience it in a way that doesn't actually help us come through it. We just reenact it. 
But if we find the easy path, just go under the tone and say this bit, I accept. But don't force anything in that causes more stress than you can process through sitting in the synapse. 